Welcome back, best uni crew. It's your girl. Stay about my grind, stay about my hustle, stay about my riches all of the time. Keeping my mind on my money and my eyes on the city for niggas and bitches. Cause in this game, I can only depend on me. So I'm coming on today and uh, try to use some Eco Sovereign and some HTV on this cute little. <laughs> Dollar Tree mat I got. This was the only one I thought that looked decent with no writing on it. It has like some grooves in it, so I really don't know how the HTV or the Eco Sovereign print gonna um, go inside, like of the grids, like the grooves of it. But we gonna find out today because that's what we do over here. So I got an image of my choice, which I printed out using my Best Uni Bussin inks. Um, I used a printable HTV from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I will link that down below. And I just got an image of my choice I found on Etsy. I'm using some scissor white um, HTV. And we're just going to cut what we did to use or get cut. And we're going to weed it. And I am going to be using a 15 by 15 heat press. Got to save your corn, honey. I can get a name out of that, honey. We ain't throwing that away. So, I got my weeding tool. I'm going to put this back on the mat. I'm just going to weed it out. You got these at Dollar Tree as well. This is a cricket brand, but you can get them from Dollar Tree. You don't have to have the exact name brand to get nothing done. inside of the wording now anything that comes up is supposed to come up majority of the time so if you're pulling and it comes up it's supposed to come up some people freak out when they're doing their weeding process and they be thinking they mess it up and if you have a hard time remember what comes out sometimes it's best to pull your picture up and then just kind of you know look what don't have a background whatever don't have the background that's what you're supposed to weed you're supposed to weed the, the non-background Okay, I hope, I hope I'm making sense, but this is what it's looking like. And I just pray this work, to be honest with you. So, we got that done. So, we're just going to put it in positive vibes only past this point. In order to do an uh, equal size of print, you would need a, like a printable vinyl. It's a special vinyl that you can print on with an eco size of ink. I got the transfer tape and the eco sovereign print from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's in a roll because um, eco sovereign is not really made for regular desk jet printers or desktop printers, so, but they do sell it in a 50 pack that you can also buy. This here is the roll, and baby, you have to cut it. And some people use a cutter, they you know, know how to measure real good and all that stuff, but I really don't, so I usually just kind of cut by hand but I'm learning so if you want these products these will be listed down below but like I said they also sell uh, the sheets so you will need a masking tape as well for the print so take a little bit out of print that I need and try don't be like me my little roll be catching it because I just be cutting I really do but um, a lot of people be like, you can't reuse it because the ink uh, gets on the, um, the transfer tape when you press it. It depends, too, on how much color is in it. Because I have used it, and it didn't do nothing to me. But they prefer you not to reuse the transfer tape because the image may transfer to your shirt. Especially if you're using like something. I don't even think it matters what color. You just don't want to. And when you lay the transfer tape down, you want to be careful how you lay it down because it does get bubbles in it. But you get you like a little pick tool and just poke your hole in it and then spread it out. That's mostly what I do. Not telling you to do it, but I'm just saying what works for me. So it should look like this. It has a white backing as well. All you're doing is pulling that white backing off of it. And it's like a clear, like a little clear tape, like a little sticker piece. And once you get your image down on the tape, then pull the backing off. So 
So once you pull this off the back of your eco sovereign print, it should be on your transfer tape just like this. This is all you need to carry it. It's almost like a regular HTV. On an eco sovereign print, you do not have to flip it horizontal, just print it regular. And then you just put your transfer tape on it, read the backing. This is what should come off. Like a clear film comes off the back of your eco sovereign print. So this is your carrier sheet. Your place of wherever you need it to go. Now don't quote me on that is y'all know my channel's a trying era. Make sure y'all hit that like button now. Okay. My heat press is up to probably like 390. I'ma let it go um probably 12 seconds for both. Try to get a cool and press again type situation. So let's go. Try to do this. I don't know if this shit gonna melt. I don't know nothing. So I'm just trying. So my heat press is up too high. It's up to 390 something. Kind of scared. And I know I probably should have did like a little test first. Y'all know how I am. So I'm going to press the HTV first. Come on. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> so, um, like I said, you got like some rules or something in it. Some little grids. Like, so I don't know how that's going to hold up on to the mat. It might not stick because of how the mat is made. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna stay. And it, it feels like a texture in my print. So this is what it's looking like. Some of the vinyl look like it's didn't stick because of the texture. And I wonder if I can kind of put like a, the little mini press on it or something and just kind of push them in there into like the little grooves. But we were thinking something that we probably could have just used the, the design and spray paint it. I wasn't even thinking like that. I don't know what the hell. But next time we'll know better, you know? So I think I th I'll try that next time, like to spray paint it or something. But I don't know if this gonna hold up. Let's see. Let's see. For the most part, I like the way the eco silent went in there though. The eco silent, like it kind of melted in there. Like it, it defines to the, the groove of everything. I'm gonna press it again. Okay, so this is the finished product. Do I think it'll last? I don't know, but well, we're going to test that out. I hope y'all like it. Man, y'all please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Your girl is trying her best. I'm learning every day. So, yeah. Y'all let me know how y'all like it. Uh, would I recommend HTV? Uh, probably not. Don't look bad, but as far as like the groove, like the little grooves inside there, I don't know. Maybe I can make it work like get my little mini press and press it, but I think I'm going to just leave it alone. It's good enough for me. So, yes, I hope y'all guys liked the video. And y'all please comment, like, and subscribe. Down below in the description, I will leak heat transfer warehouse. I got the mat from Dollar Tree. The image of Etsy. Y'all have a blessed one, man. So if it ain't even beyond it, I am a common no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get ugly, yeah. Ain't no problem, a number, equation, present, loaded, observation. I'm not new here, we both creation. Come